All right, let's look at an example. Now we have a roller coaster okay, on this track right here. Starting from rest at position one, this is position two, which is at the bottom of the track, and position three up here. Okay. Now position one is 40 feet above position two. And around position two, the rate of curvature is 20 feet. Okay. So it's on the curve. Right? And then it keeps going, right? And at the top of this little section right here is position three, which is 15 feet above position two. A couple of assumptions here. Fresh on the surface, okay? So no friction between the wheel and the track. And I'm going to ignore air resistance. Okay, you're asked to find two things. The velocity at two, okay, at the bottom of the track, and the normal force at the same position. And this is part one of the problem. Now, part two of the problem is concerned with this position three up here, and we deal with it later. Okay. Now let's look at this right here. And the weight is given. Okay, the weight of the car and the people. Okay. And you're asked to find velocity right? and normal force. Okay? But let's look at this velocity right here. As, as long as velocity is, is asked okay, to be found or if velocity is given. Okay? Either case, okay? when velocity uh, is involved, work energy method is more useful. Okay? Because kinetic energy has velocity in it. Okay? So, since we're asked to find velocity, let's use work energy method. Okay? So, let's follow this procedure. Step one, choose a coordinate system. Okay? Now, in this problem, I'm going to use the rectangular coordinate system, the Cartesian. Okay? And I'm going to define z as pointing down. Okay? I'm going to con concern with position one and two. Right. And only the vertical distance matters here. Okay. And I'm going to choose then the Z direction as okay, pointing down. Okay. And, and you see more clearly okay, why I choose this rectangular form system. Okay. And you might be asking, well, what about this section right here? This is uh, on the curve right here. And Shouldn't we choose curvilinear, uh, that is, um, maybe tangent normal, right, for this position? Yes, maybe, but only true for this position. Now, this z coordinate applies to this whole process, going from 1 to 2. Okay? So, I'm going to stick with this just for now, okay, for me to apply the work energy equation. All right, so step one is done. Step two, draw free body diagram. Now, free body diagram draw for before and after. Now, before is position one. Okay? After is position two. Okay, free body diagram, you draw just the object. Okay? In this case, it's my car and people. I'm just going to simplify it and draw a little, little circle. Okay. okay. I'm going to draw the force, the, all the forces acting on this object. In this case, I only have weight at position one. Okay, I'm going to assume that it's, um, it's starting from the vertical okay, track, right, and velocity is zero. Okay? So the only force that appears here is weight. At position two, down here, okay? also I have weight. But I also have normal force pointing up okay, from the track, okay, acting up onto the uh, the car, okay. and that's it. Okay. So now looking at these two positions right here, okay, at this free body, you have weight, weight, and normal force. Now the only force 
the dots work here okay, is the weight. Okay. Normal force does not do any work. Okay. Only weight does work. Okay. So, I'm just going to circle it, just emphasize that this is the force that does work. Okay. Next, we're going to apply the work energy equation. Okay, by looking at this free body diagrams right here. So, my work energy equation, delta KE equals uh, work going from 1 to 2. Okay, let's scan it. Left hand side, kinetic energy change. Change means after minus before. So, my KE2 minus KE1 equals work is defined as fourth vector dot it with change position vector. Okay, left hand side, keep expanding. KE, kinetic energy is defined as one half mv squared at position two minus one half mv1 squared. Hey, look at this. V1 is zero. So this whole term goes to zero. So the initial kinetic energy is zero, okay? So that's nice. Now, right hand side. Now, this term right here it might look a little intimidating, okay? But don't worry. Most of the time, it's simplified to, to close to nothing, okay? This first term is some of all forces, okay? Force vector, okay? But keep in mind, it's the only forces that do work that matters, and okay, that appear here. In this term. So, from this free body diagram right here, we've determined that the only force that does work is weight. Alright? So, this term right here is the weight vector. Okay? That points down. Okay. So, let me just write weight vector. Dot it with this ds vector, it's change of position vector. A change of position. Okay. Going from 1 to 2 okay, is along this track right here. Okay? So this is your change of position. Okay? So if you measure this arc length from 1 to 2, that's a total change right, of position. Okay? However, from the definition of dot product, you know, from what I explained here, first vector dotted with the second vector means the component of the first vector and the direction of the second vector. Okay? Multiply that by the magnitude of the second vector. So, let's see, um, I'm just going to write delta S here. Alright? So the total change of, of uh, this arc, okay? Uh, it's our length right here. Okay. So the force vector dot with this second vector. Okay. Now this means that you can you can swap these two around. It doesn't matter. Okay. So this means that it's the component of this vector in the direction of this vector. Multiply by the magnitude of this, uh, this vector, uh, vector right here. Okay? So, weight is pointing downward. Okay? Now, this right here, the component of this guy in the direction of this first guy is exactly this right here. Okay? So, the change of position vector, right? in the direction of the vertical okay, vector, which is the weight vector, is exactly change height as well. So, this vector then reduces to weight multiplied by delta z. Okay. So, so, that's all it means. Right? So, this is actually to be more precise, it should be... Right, so 
integral ds from 1 to 2. Okay? So, this right hand side simply is this weight times this change of height, vertical height, which is weight b. That's all that means. Okay?